Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we're going to do pairwise sequence alignment. And for that, I'm going to use Emboss Needle software. I've been using this software for my sequence alignment uh, projects and I like this software and I'm going to show you how you can do the multiple sequence alignment of your protein sequences using this specific software. There are, uh, you know, multiple, multiple alignment tools. It's, it's really interesting that you can use multiple, multiple two times. So there are so many multiple alignment sequencing tools that you can use. And one of the tool that uh, you can use is needle. So for that, what you need is the protein sequence and its pairwise sequence alignment. So you need two sequences. For that, I'm going to go to Uniprot website and I hope you have seen my previous videos because I'm using Uniprot. I'm using Protein Data Bank frequently and how you can use Uniprot. You can find that in my previous videos. So I want you to watch these videos so that you can learn how to use these softwares. All right, for that, you need a protein and most of the projects that I do in silico projects leads to uh, toll like receptors. So I'm going to type toll like receptor human. So I'm going to use toll like receptor four specifically. So I'm going to rename the search and again, press enter and I'm going to look for human toe like receptor so i think this is at the human toe like receptor 839 are the number of amino acids so i'm gonna click on this particular tab and you can see now uh, toe like receptor homo sapiens humans and i have already mentioned you that you need protein sequence to download the protein sequence uh, what you can do is you can click on format you can also get the text sequence if you want and you can get faster sequence so faster canonical you will get the full sequence and then just copy this sequence visit the needle website and type here or just paste the sequence right enter a pair of uh, protein DNA you can also align DNA sequence so right now I'm aligning protein sequence sequences so I have sequence number one which is toll like receptor four for humans now uh, second protein that I'm going to use is uh, the toll like receptor four for mouse so I'm using one protein that is for humans, another protein that is for mouse, and I'm going to align these two protein sequences, and we're going to see how many amino acids they are same and how many amino acids they are different. It's going to give us some uh, output file with the alignment. So it's going to tell all the similarities, all the differences. So it's very good to know that how many uh, amino acids they, they got changed in the process of evolution from mouse to humans, right? So let's go to this particular window and try to find uh, mouse to like receptor four, right? And the uh, length is 835, okay? It's shorter than the human sequence. Now I'm gonna download the faster canonical sequence and I'm gonna copy this sequence and paste this into the second window now you can also choose the selector you can also download this file and you can choose from this tab same here and you can also do what I've showed you now, I'm gonna use the default setting but you can also change your settings and you have some other options to play with and uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to submit this and I'm going to show what is going to happen. As you can see, it's filtering the parameters and it's saying that your job is currently running. Please be patient. Okay. Well, it was quick. So that's good. So as you can see, it will give you this such result and you can see 
the alignment of the two pro of uh, these two protein sequences and this is uh, some of the values it provides you that's important because it's going to tell you percentage identity look 66.4 percent similarity 78.4 percent and then you have some gaps total score is very high because they both are toll-like receptors and uh, you're not expecting too many differences but still you can see there are significant differences here right you can also uh, get this alignment file if i click on view alignment file you can get this and copy this and make a make uh, your own text file that is another option you can do but i'm just going to show you the result and you can see these lines they indicate that you have the same amino acid in both of the sequences so you can see here when you have line the whole stretch of the amino acid sequence is same right and then you have these two dots then you have one dot that tells you the extent of similarities between two amino acids and you can see it's significantly different because you can see there are many dots as compared to the lines so you can say that the sequence is significantly different and it is expected to be but this region look here this region is significantly similar you have more lines here so if you go back to the uniprod and see the structure of toll like receptor and uh, i want to see the crystal structure if that is available it should be uh, it sometime it takes time to load uh, but here this is the amino acid sequence and it shows that the sequence here has high similarity between mouse and human to like receptors receptors right so why is that that's important question to ask and uh, could be because this region is more conserved in both the cases and this region belongs to a specific part of the protein that doesn't require any significant difference uh, there could be many reasons for that for example it could be the transmembrane domain it could be the domain that is close to the membrane and not the region where antigen is going to bind there are so many uh, hypotheses that you can test and you can do the same kind of project for as many as to like receptors you want right so it's gonna be a fun project if you want to do research on to like receptor you can compare the sequences and uh, highlight those uh, particular points where you have similarities where you have difference how much is the different and if you dig deep enough you can find fascinating results and those results they can be tested in the lab so this is how you can use these in silico tools for example this specific tool emboss needle in your research and it's important that if you use this software then you should uh, basically read the documentation whatever they are telling uh, regarding the software you should also uh, cite the the paper associated with this software and you can you should definitely share the uh, this specific tool with the other researchers so that they can use it and whoever has designed this software can get benefited from that right uh, so all right so uh, this is the output file that I wanted to show you and how you will get the uh, some of the information regarding the identity similarity and gap I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how you can do the multiple sequence alignment uh, of two protein sequences in future I'll bring more videos related to some sort of uh, tools and techniques that are used in biosciences specifically related to the research project so i want you to stay tuned and support the channel all right till then take care